So these last few days, I've seen people wanting to know how to flatten, which is a feature in Cricut Design Space, um, how to do that in Create. And it's easy to do. It's just you have to set your layers in the style panel as to what you want it to do, print or cut. Um, there is no flatten. That, that will flatten it because in your layers panel, let me just show you. If I have a JPEG, I need to bring that in under File, Place Image, okay? And then um, you'll see that when I move that, it has the square around it, right? But if I go to my preview window, and you want to use that preview window, especially every time before you go to Create, um, just to make sure that your print is within your cut lines, okay? If I turn my print off, I have no cut lines because it's a JPEG. So I have a couple of choices. I can use a shape, I'll use a circle, and um, I will actually turn that white and turn the stroke color to none. And then I can turn this down so I can see where I'm placing it. I want to make sure that I get my entire doggy in the circle. Okay, so I need to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, this is an image that I got off of Google, and it has, you know, the watermark name or whatever on it. Uh, you're not going to have that if you purchase um, PNG files. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this and bring it down here. Okay, and then uh, all I need to do is select them and size them to the size of sticker that I want. I'm going to just do um, two inches, okay, and then I'm going to make sure everything is selected and I'm going to bring it over here, put it up here next to my uh, print margins, and then I can control D to duplicate them. Well, actually, before I do that, I want to make sure that this is set to print, okay? And this one is set to print plus cut cut only, all right? It's a print plus cut project, and I only want that circle to cut, okay? And then I want the dog to print. Then I can select them. I can group them. I can control D to duplicate, and I can make my duplicates. Um, for my page and I can actually let's see um, I need to reduce this let's try to reduce this to 100 and maybe oh 50 and they're all fitting. Now, this looks like it's gonna cut outside my print margin, but that's okay. As long as my print is inside my print margin and my cut is within my page, then I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose okay for that. And then I could have probably gotten another row, but I'm not gonna worry about that. So that's ready to go. Now, printers don't print white, so don't worry about what this looks like. Okay, if you come to your preview and actually let me turn my page back to white because I'm printing on white paper, okay, and then you can better see um, that what's going to print and what's going to cut. Just make sure that your cut lines are not overlapping, which they're not, okay. So, like I said, if you have your page color on, don't worry about what that looks like, okay. Then... The second option is to go to File, Place Image, choose that same dog again, and select it. And again, I don't have any cut lines, so I need to create them. I can go to the Trace window, and I can have Blackout checked and Add Image Layer, and then I'm going to increase my contrast until I get a smooth line all the way around the dog. Now I do have this here that's going to actually cut out 
what I can do is erase that. Just go to Draw Mask, Background, and click on this and erase it. And then update your preview to make sure you don't have any red lines still left down there, which I do. Update preview again. Okay, now they're all gone. Those won't cut. Okay, they're going to print, but they won't cut. All right, so um, then it puts the image with the trace line around the dog on top of the old one. So you need to get rid of that old one. Okay, then you can um, size this to the size you want it to be. I'm going to do uh, two inches high and then um, bring it up here. Okay, and check my layers. Again, open this up. I have a cut layer that needs to be set to cut only, and I have a print layer that needs to be set to print only. That means it is flattened, okay? You have a cut layer and you have a print layer. It's flattened, basically. All right, now, if I want to add an offset around the dog so that it's white, you know, it has that little white border, I have to do that on the cut layer. Choose the cut layer, go to Effects, Shadow Layer, um, and change the color to white, and I'm going to do about 60 just so it's easier to see. If I do 30, it's going to be pretty, pretty thin. Okay, and then you might want to choose blackout. Okay, so it places it below your print. But again, if you check your preview, it's going to show you that it has that white border around the outside. Now, this is gray up here, but again, you're printing on white paper. So turn your print or your uh, page color off. And then if you check it, you can see that the white is borders all the way around the dog. Okay. I still have that inner cut line. So if I'm not going to use that for a kiss cut to score, then I need to come back to my layers panel and turn that original cut layer that is in with my print, not the shadow layer, the cut layer and turn that off. Okay. Then I can select it all and I can duplicate it and let's make this 100 oops i didn't mean to choose okay uh let me control z that select it all again control d and i want this to be 100 well if i could choose it sorry Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and get five of those. And five of those, I'm going to also change this one to 100. And choose OK. And then I have all of those on one page. But I need to check this again because, see, these are hanging off. So I'm actually not going to be able to do this bottom row. And then um, I can use this for my test cuts. Okay, so there's my print and there's my cut. Okay, so that's for the PNG file. So I hope that this helps. Um, I, you know, I, I don't know why... I don't know how to say this, but... I don't know how else to explain the flatten because all Cricut Design Space is doing is taking that print and basically adding a cut line around it. And that's all you're doing here. And if you have a PNG file that already has um, the cut line around it, then you don't have to do anything to it other than size it and, um, you know, make your duplicates. Unless you want a shadow layer around that cut line. Then you need to open up your group, choose that cut line, and add your shadow layer. Okay? Um, and then make sure that your shadow layer is set to print plus cut cut only. 
turn this one off unless you're going to use it for a kiss cut. If you're going to use this layer for a kiss cut, then in the style panel it needs to be set to score. And then here you have a score force and a force. Your score force is going to be for your kiss cut. Your force is going to be to cut completely through. So I hope this explains it better and it's all in one video so it's easier to find, it's easier to post for the people that need to know how to flatten and create. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.